Nanotechnology is the study of materials at the nanoscale, which is between one and 100 nanometers. We do two things in nanotechnology. One is we teach the general concepts of, of nanotechnology. We start with you know, scale and size, how small nano really is. We look at a lot of the new and upcoming technologies that are using nano-related things. Perhaps some of the most used and well-liked microscopes in our lab are our scanning electron microscopes. Our students become experts at using scanning electron microscopes during their time in our nanotechnology course. One of the really cool things we were able to do this year was our student Sammy uh, took advantage of our new 3D optical microscope and just ran with it, doing 3D topography analysis of fingerprints to determine how long after a fingerprint is left can you still be able to pick up and analyze that fingerprint. Right there you would see the bridges again and the, the peaks are the oil particles. And in conclusion, what I exactly found was the fact that fingerprints do not degrade over time uh, in a month period of time. Um, doing the, collecting all the data through that whole month period, I did not see a difference. The data was consistent. Because of nanotechnology, I realized that I really do like doing lab work and studying and investigating, which is why I'm 100% going into forensic science in the next couple months. Our students not only use the microscopes to see nanoparticles, but in this class we make nanoparticles too. One of our students, Michael, actually did a project where he made gold nanoparticles and then coated glass slides with them with the ultimate goal of being able to make smart windows that allow visible light to come through but keep heat from coming in. So by using my coating, if you were to coat it onto a window and stop heat from getting through, that extra heat won't find its way into your house and you won't have to pay for the air conditioning to cool down that extra heat. One of the things that we're most proud about in our nanotechnology class is how we have our Positive Impact Science Symposium. The Positive in Impact Science Symposium allows our students to present their work to other students from seven or eight different schools that end up coming in, as well as professional scientists from a lot of different STEM fields that we invite from the community just for this special event. I really enjoy the actually seeing the microscopic world and the, even close to the nano world. And you see this amazing texture and patterns on these things that you would never see with just the naked eye. For some students, when they unlock these new worlds at the um, nano level, it's like unlocks levels of their imagination where getting these images, acquiring these images, seeing things in this new way becomes an art form for them. Student acquired images on our microscope have been on display in libraries in our community. And in fact, we're planning a new installation this summer at the Buffalo Grove Community Arts Center. Whenever our kids go out into the community and talk about our nanotechnology class, professional scientists and community members alike are just blown away. And I think it really empowers our students to understand that they can do things that are done by professional scientists. And those opportunities are right here for them at Wheeling High School. As a teacher, we always want our students to push the envelope. And we like to imagine our students as, as being the future. In science, nanotechnology is the future. And the fact that our kids get to do that here during their normal school day, it just unlocks unlimited possibilities for what's ahead for these students that get to take this class. Nano!